Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today Spitfire Massa. This is an exclusive library which is only available and is free to owners of the Spitfire Symphonic Orchestra Collection. So this is the strings, brass and woodwinds. Massa is a new tool that we've created which is blended sections um, orchestrated in lots of different ways for all kinds of different purposes. It's incredibly fast to use and it's a way to get instant orchestral satisfaction. So I'm just going to play a few things using the first patch I've opened up, which is Tutti, all the sections blended together. And this is just the straightforward normal long. So you can hear there you've got you've got all of the sections playing together. Um, you've also got full dynamic control here. And if we go in, you can see all the usual other controls. You've got the simple view as well on the UI. But if we go into the staccato section and let's have a listen to that same orchestration, but played staccato. So you can hear it's very dynamic, reacts really quickly and easily to the um, to the playing. Let's go through some of the other sections. We've got our long, our beast longs. So it's a kind of aggressive, slightly gnarly sort of sound. Let's check out the shorts from this. You get the idea. Let's flick through the rest. So we've got our um, brass and string choir. So this is again, it's really uh, reacts to the dynamics well, this one. So it's quite dense. Um, if we change, let's change the mix. Let's listen to just the close mics and you'll hear what I mean. It's got that beautiful soft richness. If we push the dynamics all the way to the top. So check out the tree. And then check out the ambience. Okay, so let's go back to a relatively uh, normal sounding mix. Let's check out the shorts that are associated with this string brass choir. Okay, and let's check out some of the other stuff. So we've got our low brass and string stab. Self-explanatory. We've got our low woods and string stab. Okay, so obviously the range, you can see that this ends, um, it goes up to just below middle C here. Um, and then we've got our nutcracker. So the range for this one, let me just switch the octave view. So you can see that the range for this one, down to the A there. So this is a really useful one for little textural things. 
You can hear that it's quite thickly orchestrated, so it doesn't really respond well to kind of, you know, massive, massive handfuls of notes, but maybe two or three. And again, you can use it for a kind of uh, lead part. And it sounds really great. So let's move on. We've got our woods and strings. Uh, we've got a couple of different versions of this. So check this out. Now, you also notice here, as you can hear, the, the woods are really quite um, quite forward in this mix. Um, you can hear that there's a real uh, difference as you bring the vibrato and take it out again. So check this out. So that's really nice. You can, it's got those two very different moods. You can use it with the vibrato and just kind of um, modulate it as you, as you play to get more expressiveness and musicality into your phrases. Or you can just kind of set, I want this kind of, you know, non-vib sound. Very beautiful sound. Let's check out the shorts associated with that. So you've got a, a nice wide range. Um, and then we've got our second version of this. There's a slightly different kind of orchestration and balance. So check this one out. And here are the corresponding shorts to that second wood string orchestration. So you get the idea. Now let's move over and let's check out the strings. So I'm going to put up a rough mix again for this. We've got all kinds of goodies in here. So let's start off with our cool strings. This is cool strings one. So you can hear what's going in here. We've got a kind of really interesting textured orchestration going on. And if you want to smooth over the ends, you can push the releases up, even add a tiny bit of uh, our kind of lush reverb. So let's keep going through. We've got cool strings too. stuff we've got number three uh, I'm gonna pull the releases and the verb back down again um, number four So I held that down so that you can hear them kind of evolving and morphing as you go through. And then giant epic long.
So pretty cool stuff. Check out the shorts. Um, we've got our Ligeti strings. So you can hear what's happening here as well, a nice textural change. Check it out with the dynamics. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We've got our Mondo plucks. Now, when you play this gently, you can hear it's really nice, kind of very soft colonios. Along with a nice kind of pizzicato. When you hammer it, you get a much harder col leg. So that's a nice useful sound as well. Now we've got a variety of slow strings patches. Let's uh, have a listen to some of these. So you can hear it's got a really, really beautiful slow attack. And it's very dynamic as well. You can control all of that with the dynamics here. Um, let's check out the second one. And Let's have a look at the super slow string. So kind of similar vibe. And it's got a really, really kind of lush sound. It's very, very, these are real kind of writing patches. I mean, obviously, you know, great to use in your final production, but really fantastic writing patches as well. Great stuff. Um, slow, cool strings. So that's, you can feel the texture of that um, quite different. And here's number three. And then finally, number four. And again, you can hear the way that that's orchestrated. You've got the different kind of textural, um, the different kind of timbres going at, rubbing against each other. Really um, useful stuff in there. So let's look at the brass. Okay. And again, we'll start with our Beast Long.
and then the shorts. We've got our choir, our kind of choral brass sound. the idea and the shorts with that. Our power. Our super choir. So this is really good for very, very soft. And then we have the shorts for that. Lovely stuff. Our slow choir. And you can hear you've got that really lovely dynamic control over that as well. And our slow super choir. So it's sounding lovely. And finally, we'll go to our woodwinds. So we've got our beast long. So you can hear you've got all of the kind of fluttery and slightly aggressive sounds. If I put the dynamics right up. Really kind of nice kind of violent sound. The shorts. And then our chorus long. So this again, it's a kind of um, it's a kind of vocal kind of feel. So you've got control over your vibrato and your dynamics here as well. We've got our light short, which is a woodwind heavy, very light sound with a very tiny hint of pizzicato behind. We've got our orchestrated longs. So you get the idea, these are kind of um, orchestrated amongst the octaves. So you've got... Uh you've got a nice kind of ready to use sound there. And then we've got our slows as well. which is the nice, uh, the chorus coming in and then slow orchestrator. So you get the idea, these are all kind of really um, useful for different things. Let's put a really different kind of blend up and have a quick listen to the chorus. Mm -hmm. 
So you can hear that gives you more of a chamber sound. We can even go full on for that, lose the ambience altogether. Or, you know, your very, very traditional tree only. So you hear, you can get the kind of feeling of what's going on. So some really useful tools in there. This is Spitfire Massa. It's a free library, um, which we've spent uh, quite a few months creating, blending and orchestrating different sections. There's, a, there's movement in there as well in some of those um, string patches that you can hear. And it's an exclusive tool only available to full owners of SSO. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that little look at Massa and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.